Hi, my name is Wilson from the Bronx, and I am a product manager with the Azure Kubernetes Services team. Uh, and I am here to talk about one of our very interesting features in AKS known as Node Auto Provision. Node Auto Provision is based off of the open source technology uh, uh, Carpenter, uh, which allows uh, auto scaling across your different workloads. This can happen at the VM level, and we also allow the ability for this to work with other auto scaling techniques such as VPA and KDA. In terms of what Node Auto Provision uh, kind of how it works, if you would. It will schedule pods that need to be scheduled to the necessary nodes or VMs, and it also has the capability, kind of different from other auto-scaling methods such as cluster auto-scaler, by using mixed auto-scaling. So you can have different size VMs in the same cluster in this case, and we kind of move away from the node pool model that is traditionally used in uh, Kubernetes here. So a lot of really amazing features there. In terms of how you can utilize this, essentially the way it works is that it finds ways to uh, bin pack most efficiently your systems uh, with disruption and consolidation. Disruption and consolidation pretty much work by identifying where there's underutilized or empty areas of nodes in your system. From that, it will then find out when it can pretty much disrupt and turn off these VMs and then find replacement re VMs that pretty much save some cost for you and your services. This really saves you time, uh, complexity of your system, and the ability to really focus on kind of the workloads that you're really excited about. So very amazing stuff. So some of the common strategies that we've seen people leverage with Node Auto Provision in Azure is essentially, one, using Node Auto Provision as I mentioned earlier, with other auto-scaling techniques. So NAP, Node Auto Provision, really focuses on the VM level scaling, scale up and scale down for your pods. But in case you need multiple replicas, you can kind of pair Node Auto Provision with VPA or CADA for any event-driven auto-scaling needs and essentially have that great combination of efficiency for your system. In addition to that, you can use NAP to leverage spot VMs. Spot VMs can save you a lot of cost and there's a lot of interest in a ratio of spot and on-demand mixes, which you can now do that with Node Auto Provision in AKS. And lastly, in case you have different architecture that you might want to leverage, be that Intel, AMD, ARM, or other types of compute, you can have kind of those mixes as well on AKS using Node Auto Provision and Carpenter. So very exciting systems that you can build out and you really have a lot of control and uh, options essentially with this. The goal for Node Auto Provision is for you to be able to set it and walk away. Uh, or if you wanna get kind of more detailed structures, you can make that happen as well. So very exciting stuff. Uh, something else I think is pretty cool to note is with Carpenter being and open source software, we've been able to have a lot of great contributions, both to the upstream Carpenter software, as well as to our dedicated uh, AKS provider for Carpenter. So you can check all of that out on GitHub, look into some of the work that we've done in certain areas such as disruption and more, and just very exciting things that we have ahead for AKS and for Node Auto Provision and the open source community. So thank you again.